Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to configure PayPal smart payment buttons on your NAPCommerce site. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.3. So before we jump into the configuration process, let's learn about PayPal smart payment buttons. In fact, let's go to the PayPal website to learn more about it. So choosing the right payment gateway for your business is one of the most important decisions you can make while setting up your e-commerce website. So on the PayPal site, let's go to the developer section and let's quickly search for checkout. And right here, the checkout page and here we can see we can learn about these smart buttons. So PayPal checkout with smart payment buttons gives your buyers a simplified and secure checkout experience. And this is how PayPal smart buttons look like. When customers go through the process of checkout on your online store site, smart payment buttons by PayPal automatically presents buyer with the most convenient and relevant payment types for them. PayPal offers global payment methods like credit card or debit card, plus more local payment methods relevant to the country. This makes it easier for your customers to complete their purchase easily. So now that we have learned a little bit about these smart buttons, let's go back to our NAPCOMER site and see how the configuration process looks like. So in order for us to configure these smart buttons by PayPal, we'll go to the administration section and on this page, we will go to configuration and payment method because technically a payment method. A good news is that this plugin or payment method already comes as part of your NAPCommerce 4.3 version out of the box. You don't even have to install this plugin from a third party vendor. You don't have to buy it. It's available for free within your NAPCommerce store site. So first step for the configuration is to make it activated. As you can see, PayPal smart buttons is right now not active. So click on the edit and check this option and update. So now that we have activated this payment method, we'll go into the configuration screen and we'll configure this payment method. So in order for you to configure this payment as a merchant, you will be accepting payment in this case. So technically you need a payment uh, PayPal business account. So in this case, we will be using a sandbox environment for you for the testing purpose. In fact, it's always a good practice for you. Even if you have a PayPal business account, you should always test your e-commerce store site with the sandbox account of your PayPal. A good news is that PayPal offers you a free developer account that you can use for testing purpose to make sure everything is working. Customers are able to check out properly with no error message on because nobody wants to see an error message on a website. So let's go through the process of the configuration. So NAPCommerce team already included all the steps that are needed to configure this plugin. So they're saying that first step is to log in to the developer dashboard if we are using the sandbox environment. So we'll make sure that this is checked and we will go to the developer section. And here, second step is on my app and credential use the toggle switch. Okay, so second step is we'll go to the dashboard and within the dashboard, you'll see my app and credentials. So you can see here there are toggle options live in sandbox we'll make sure that we are on sandbox because we are using for testing purpose so by default you get a default application so for this test let's try to create a new app so we'll use it for knob commerce site so it basically asking what account you would like this app to link to so in this case this is my test business account and I want my this app to be a link for this, this account. And I'll click create app. And it should take some time and quickly it'll give you some details about this app. 
So I will copy this client ID and go back to the NavCommerce site and here you can paste your client ID. Okay. Now second step is you need to add the secret key of your app. So I'll go back here and I will click on show and I will copy this secret key and I will paste it here. And if you go back to the PayPal site, you can see you can always delete keys for secure, disable keys for security purpose, and you can always generate a new security key if you like. So in this case, we'll keep this key as is. And payment type, there are two payment types that, that are supported by this app right now plugin, in which capture is simply covers when you want to capture the payment automatically and authorizes when somebody checks out on your store site and you will have to go to your PayPal account and you will have to authorize the payment. So in this case, we will simply just use capture. Okay, so now that we have entered all the details, let's take a look at the PayPal site and it gives you some options to accept payments, invoicing, payment, payouts. Uh, these are the options that you can explore to learn more about how you can configure the um, different options on, on PayPal. And now we will save changes. Great. So now we have the confirmation that the credentials are valid and the plugin has been successfully updated. So now that we have added these details, you can configure where you would like these smart buttons by PayPal to be displayed on your NAP Commerce site. So in this case, we have option to display buttons on the shopping cart. You can also display buttons directly on the product details pages. And for this testing, let's just keep it unchecked and we'll just display these options on the shopping cart page. Another good thing about uh, this plugin is that you can easily add or advertise that you offer PayPal as a payment method for to your customers by simply displaying an image of PayPal logo on your header. So if I save it, and now if I refresh my public store, you can see it's showing that now we are accepting PayPal. And why you wanna do this? It's a very simple reason because it adds trust to your store site simply. So customers see that you accept PayPal it gives them some kind of trust towards your store that they don't have to enter their credit card detail and they can simply use their PayPal account to check out. And same thing, you can also add PayPal logo on the footer of your website. And now let's save it. And let's go to the public store. And now you can see I don't have anything in footer. And if I refresh the page, it adds a logo for PayPal showing that your NopCommerce site is now accepting PayPal as a checkout option. Perfect. So now that we have added the PayPal logo on footer and header, and now that we have configured all these smart payment buttons by PayPal on your NopCommerce site, Let's go through the process of checkout and see how these uh, smart buttons work. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll just go to any product page, like let's pick this product. And here, let's add this to the shopping cart. And let's go to the shopping cart. And when you are on the shopping cart, you can see automatically these smart buttons by PayPal will be added to the checkout process. And if you are a customer, all you will do is check out if you have any agreement, you agree to terms and services, this is your total amount. And I will click on, because I don't want to enter any credit card details, I will click on PayPal. I will select my shipping address, continue. and I will select PayPal Smart Payment Buttons. That's my checkout. 
and continue. Okay, so now, as you can see, I'm not entering my credit card details on NopCommerce site, but I simply you do have the option to pay later, offered by PayPal. You can enter your debited credit card details that are that is also offered by the smart buttons. In this case, I will use my PayPal account. When I click on my PayPal account, I will log into my PayPal account. And if you go back to your developer section, just for testing purpose, you can see under sandbox, it will give you some account details as well, where you can select your test accounts for testing purpose. In this case, I already have two PayPal accounts set up, one for as a business account, one for personal account. So in this case, I will simply click on view and edit account. Copy my username. my password and login. And you can see it automatically picked up the total amount for the product that I'm placing an order for and gives me option if I want to use my PayPal balance, which is again, this is a test sandbox account. So it's not a real money, but, and if I click on continue and all last step in this process is simply to confirm. And once you have confirmed the order and that is it customer basically went through the process of checkout and checked out using a PayPal smart button. And as a store owner, you have received an order. And now if I go to sales and order, and if I pick up this order, you can see the order status is paid. Why? Because we selected the capture button that captured the payment automatically. We didn't have to go to our PayPal account and authorize the payment. And you can see here payment method was used as PayPal smart payment buttons. And after your testing, make sure to go back to the payment method. Go to configure and make sure to go to the developer section of your PayPal account and get the production client ID and secret key and uncheck this and save. So this is how you can configure PayPal smart buttons on your knob commerce site. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by knob commerce open source shopping car. Thank you.